I built a sideboard for the zombie return deck. Yeah. What is this deck one? Best of three. Probably ley lines for opposing graveyard decks. And then I want answers to ley line of my own. We don't mind sideboarding cards that interfere with Luris, because Luris isn't that big of a deal. It's kind of just in here as a free roll, because all of our shit costs less than uh, three anyway. Fragmentize, love it. Maybe like two of this. Is there a removal spell that hits hits uh, enchantments and artifacts and stuff, but is also just a good removal spell? There's no Vindicate in this format, right? But we need, I mean, there's, there's probably something. Some fucking Planeswalker that kills things or... Coco. Well, Return to the Ranks is kind of our Coco. Like, Return to the Ranks is killing the same turn that you'd be casting Coco, basically. Dispark. Dispark, maybe... Maybe Vanishing Verse, huh? That's a card, right? Yeah, Vanishing Verse hits Leyline and then also hits, like, some really good permanents. Dispark hits Leyline, but... It doesn't hit, like, Rest in Peace, right? Vanishing Bruce hits Rest in Peace. It's probably just better than Fragmentize. Maybe I just want Quad Vanishing Bruce. Anguish, not in the format. You like this card? You can sideboard like one. And then do I want Thought Seizes? I just wonder like when I actually want to bring that in. Because I'm not sure that I want it against control. Maybe we'll just board like three of them. And then maybe I want like a few fatal pushers or something. Buy a little bit of time against aggro. Like deck and stone. Is deck and stone better than fatal push? I'm trying to think about when you would want Deck and Stone. If Graft is Graftinger's Cage still popular graveyard at eight? It probably is. I only, got, I only grabbed three ley lines. I definitely really want four of those. So I guess Fracture hits um, Grafdigger's Cage, but Vanishing Burst doesn't. Maybe I'll split them, play two Fractures. Okay. Is Portable Hole any good with Luris? Oh, Portable Hole over Fatal Push because you can get it back with Luris? Yeah, I can see that. I don't know. The games that I played, like, the Luris was not important at all. Like, I think I put it in hand, like, once. So I don't want to, like, build my sideboard around it too much. You know, I'm, like, I'm playing Ley Lines here instead of the, the one mana artifact where you sack it and stuff. But maybe that's maybe that's wrong. Maybe I should just be playing more Luris shit. Why are we playing zombies in a triad stream? Because the last time I played this deck, I went like five and one or some shit. And it seemed very good. 
I mean, that guy played tonight is, is going to have the Caleb D seal of, I think this deck is strong. And my opinion might change as the games play out. Free sack outlet. There's the uh, the three mana three two that comes back from the graveyard. Mm, the one with un unearth or whatever. Sacks a goat or, or what have you. That one's good. This deck, uh, the main sack outlet we're playing is the Phyrexian Tower, of course. Historic is not in favor, correct? Yeah, let's try this. I might swap out the ley lines for the uh, the more lures friendly graveyard hate. The ley lines are really good in some matchups. Yeah, carrying feeder would be excellent for sure. The Planeswalker we were just playing in Elves is literally only on Arena, Noah Constrictor. Any card that has like the Seek ability or the the permanent ability. The Vesper Lark combo is only online. Because the minus one permanent minus one minus two cards only online. Options. I think I want a Wayward Servant here. And then next turn we can like Augur plus Shambling Ghast. Hey Grishnax, thanks for the sub, thanks for 14 months. Appreciate it. 14 months of lurking, you still don't have any good ideas for sub messages. Oh, you don't need to. There's no pressure with sub messages. start looking interesting. So now the Luminarch is just going to pump itself, which is totally fine. Is just zombie, right? And he doesn't care if it's token. Yeah. Hey, Xenia the first. Thinks the sob thinks we're sharing that prime. Draw a few cards, why not? One treasure, please. Hmm. 
Let's go Wayward Servant into Reaver. And then we can sack the Reaver token to play the Mire Triton. Shoot it up. Hey Mario, thanks for the 84, thanks for the four months there. Oops, wrong button. Yeah. With the Zane of the first, subbing with Twitch Prime, and then Dak Moore is subbing with 78 months. That's a lot of months. Yeah, one of the cool things about this deck is that you don't actually have to, like when the opponent's good at coming up the board, you're like, alright, whatever. <laughs> I'm not doing that anyway. I think the opponent's considering whether they want to sack their ranger captain to be us. Close to lethal this turn, Islands is still ran. Not to sack the ranger, of course. Proto Bunny thinks the sob things are sharing that prime. Three times two is only six. So this wouldn't be lethal. Oh shit, what up? Hey Cliff, thanks for the sub, thanks for the three months there. Proto Bunny, thanks for sharing the prime. So I would recur a Shambling Gas, a Crit Breaker, and a Mire Triton. It's pretty good. Oh shit, what up? So here we are at 29. Spellbinder resolves, friend. Yeah, it still wouldn't have been lethal, though. We'd sack the Reaver to itself to bring it back for like one more trigger. Instead of sacking the one, the, the token. Good thing to be thinking about for sure. Should the crit baker be blocking? I don't think so. It is like dead of attack. Or I mean I guess I should be blocking, but it just doesn't matter at all, huh? I want to draw a card with this Crypt Breaker. We're getting in for six. Yeah, let's draw a card. AJ Noon thinks the sob thinks the ten months. We're going to be losing another three from the Undead Augur. in a couple vanishing verse and a couple fatal push. Maybe we want all three vanishing verse. I'm gonna cut Dread Wander entirely. It's mostly just in here to like get in like chip in for a little bit on the play. 
or if the, the matchup's like exceptionally grindy, you can rebuy it. Just here to be a one-drop zombie. You get an Aristocrats vibe? I mean, you should. It's a Return of the Rain stay. I think I'm gonna shave a Village Rights. Go down to like one or two of that card. The Block Sack thing is pretty real. Undead Auger, Auger can actually get awkward in multiples. I might shave one here. Even though it was pretty great last game. General Kudro. I think the opponent's playing Mono White. We have Fatal Pushes, yeah. Yeah, old school. Yeah, the last time I played this deck, my opponent, like, was playing Elves and just, like, dumped their hand and had this amazing fucking board, and I was like, alright. <laughs> Dead you. Don't care. That was when I was thinking that this might just be a good shell. I choose to block. Hmm. Well, that's obnoxious. You think there's an odd attack? A little weird. I thought... I thought that they were going to play like a rest in peace second main phase or something. And then it would have made slightly more sense. Do I set them draw card? I think I do. Decline to pay the one. Raven. Hmm, do I Meyer Triton and trade with something? Or do I stitch a supplier and sack? Oh, we can shock ourselves, let's do that. No, I keep milling my returns. There's two milled. Or just one. Cool. Next turn, if we whiff, we can put Luris to hand. I'm threatening to start. Rebuying Corpse Knights the old fashioned way. The name of the Convoke card is Return to the Ranks.
my god. I just build another return. No! I'm gonna exile this. I guess play Mario Triton. What Hagak things are we doing? Well, Hagak is not a legal card. But we are playing uh, Return to the Ranks to drain out our opponents. Ideally, in an ideal world. Portable Hole would be a fine answer to Apostle of Purifying Light. And Apostle's like a fairly common sideboard card, actually. And historic. Maybe a mark to play. Portable Hole over Fatal Push. Or in combination with. Would Hagak do much in historic? It would. <laughs> it very much would. I guess the issue with blocking Blade Splicers and the Apostle's Lethal next turn. But I guess, I mean, if I block the 3-3 and take 5, it's the same. So we need to block Blade Splicer and then... Ooh, the Resto. I think that just means that with this game... We needed to return, like, a bit ago. That's kind of how Lurus has been for me. It's like technically here. <laughs> it could possibly do something. Has not done that. Has not been good. I think I like this composition. I think I'm just going to run this back again. Agadine's Awakening is a lot of life. A lot of life when you have to play it as a land. And you mostly play it as a land. And we're playing a deck that uses our life total as a draw engine. Much, much worse than just playing castle or something. If you want to get value from your mana base. This hand is so close. I believe we had another mana source for like a turn one thing, turn two side tower, and like dump our hand. I have not found a deck where Agadims was worthwhile. Ever. <laughs> Not that such a deck doesn't exist, or that that card will never be good, or anything like that, but I have not played it. It has been mono miserable for me. Cost. Bolt yourself constantly. Reward. Sometimes recur a 2 2, maybe. Great! <laughs> Drastically different risk reward than with like Shatter Skull or Amiria's, who do that whole like winning the game thing when they pop off.
Is it ever worth splashing green for Coco? I mean, Coco's a great card. We could try playing it here. Hey, Kusabi thinks the Saw thinks the 12 months there. Hey, Distinction 13 thinks the 27 months. Does not look like Cube, you're not wrong. There are four, I believe four different mono blue painter legacy leagues for you to look at on my YouTube MCL. No, I want to have the Undead down before I sack this Triton, if I do even sack the Triton. Oh shit, what up? Well, Luris is taking up a sideboard slot, so it's not really competing with Velocity Citadel. Hey, Cajun guy, thanks for 50 months. Ranger, you can sack to silence the opponent from playing um, non-creature spells. Yeah, I think you're thinking of frontline medic. I think they want to trade either of their cards with this Meyer Triton, and if they do, I'm pretty happy about it. So they take here, I'm just gonna sack it, play the other Meyer Triton. Ooh. Where do I play a second Undead Augur? <laughs> I think we Triton. When you play the Augur, you're just planning on chumping the Ranger Captain when they serve next turn. Skyclave's really good against me. It's like unfortunately good with, good against me. Turn to the ranks for three here, right? I think we can like use something for convoke and then also for the tower.
And then we can draw another card here with Crypt Baker. You got it, friend. Do I want to trade off some Mire Triton shit, or do I want to wait until I get the Undead Augur down first? I don't know. Oh, they're not attacking? Amazing. I think I got a Vanishing Bruce this Micchaeus. I think that's the plan. Nah, that plan sucks. I don't want to do that at all. Just find lethal. We're not that far away from it. Like, we activate Crypt Breaker here, the 2 2 comes into play and drains them. And then we're gonna draw a shitload of cards. they choose of oh, the Luminarch, sure. Okay. Block the Skyclave is the next question. Get another blocker? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I was drawing four more cards there. Zombies deck go. <laughs> Did I screw it up somehow? I don't get it. It's just a bug, I'm sure. So 
So I think I want some number of portable holes just for that pro-black creature. That card was obnoxious. Try this. Yeah, this deck felt really good um, when I was playing it day one, but I hadn't roughed out a cyborg. I hadn't played any like best of three. I wasn't sure how much cyborg he would impact its viability. That's mostly what I'm testing right now. I actually really like this hand, assuming we find a second land like ever. <laughs> it's an incredible tower hand if we just like found a tower off the top. I'm actually gonna keep this on the draw. I think I would mull it on the play, but. <laughs> we do need one more white source. Like, the Shambling Gas is going to give me a treasure. Well, Corpse Knight might do it. Corpse Knight be, might be good. Oh, but I need a white source to play the Corpse Knight. Yeah. Just kidding. Turning this turn, right? It was close. It was close to being correct to return there, I think. Tap Steam Vents. Sure, let me resolve. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can return for four. Might as well put the supplier into it. Good. <laughs> yeah. Why are we playing this on a tryhard stream? Well, I don't know. Maybe I think it's good. Yeah, fuck. Let's get a uh, let's get some thought seizes in and then 
some of this other shit. I don't know. Spicy? Yeah, a little bit of spice. I'm not really sure what to expect in terms of, like, cyborg hate, whether I should be playing around Ley Lines, Graft Digger's Cage, what have you. Like, I don't know if all of this should be coming in. Oh, shit, what up? Oh, damn! Budar9 with a $10 donation. Budar says, just got a raise today, wanted to share the, lo the love. I missed a resub from Cajun Guy for 50 months. 50 months total. Cajun says, 50! Happy 50th, sir. Have a great stream. Hell yeah, Cajun guy. And MJT89, thanks for the sub. Appreciate you too. Hell yeah. We could just play the Fracture and not have Vanishing Bruce at all. Just do like two of each of those. Usually I cut uh, Dread Wonder, but it's probably at its best in this matchup. I'm gonna shave eight village rights, because that's just like an easy cut. Oh, my Triton can get shaved, yeah, maybe. Maybe that's super wrong. I think the opponent's gonna be putting stuff in my graveyard, so maybe I need Myra Triton a little bit less. It was the ya yeah, fuck that pulled you in? Nice. Nice. I wonder how much of my income is based on me sprinkling in random profanity. We'll lead on Thoughtseize here. I'm gonna regret leading on Thoughtseize here. <laughs> Next turn I get to play Undead Augur and Stitcher Supplier. Get the drain going, get the aggro going. Ooh, do, do I do that? No, I think I just do this. Hey, Papa Jack Cash Money, thanks for the sub, thanks for sharing that prime. Uh, I guess I do this. Does that fizzle their thing? Do they longer get to loot? Oh, the target player draws too. Perhaps for just such a situation. It's good village rights, though. Respond to your thing, draw some cards. So if I play the supplier, I can draw with Crit Breaker and then also serve with Corpse Knight. I guess I do that. beat this fucking test of talents with village rights. looking sorcery, sorcery speed village here.
Zombie beats too strong. Lurus actually looked kind of good there, um, when the Return of the Ranks plan was kind of bad because they had all those counters. All those fucking negates. <laughs> yeah, I thought it seized their hand. I was like, there's no removal here. It's like literally just two negates. Two negates, five lands. You keeping that against zombies? I feel like you want like some mag magma sprays or angers or something. Maybe they didn't have stuff like that. I feel like I kept like almost this exact same hand earlier on the draw. It worked out. I'll try it again. Oh shit, what up? Hey Alex, thanks for the 24 months there and that sweet button. Thank you for being awesome, Alex. Thanks for supporting the stream. I feel like I feel like uh a PBS telethon person sometime. This stream made possible from viewers like you. Need to give out some fucking tote bags. Uh-oh. I do not have an Enchantress list. I haven't fucked with Enchantress at all. Oh, what would a Caleb D. tote bag have? Would it have some handles? Would it have a... Uh, space to fit things? I'd probably have my logo in the front. Might even sell tote bags. Oh, shit. On some site or other. Hello, 1995! Things the 45 months there. You'd sub for a tote bag? <laughs> yeah. Clearly. And then Detri! Things the 7 months there. 7 months of the finer things in life. AKA Caleb's stream. Love it. Yeah, what are they doing? What are they doing over there? Dying to zombies. I like their sleeves, that stained glass stuff. So I, I'm like certain they're gonna have ley lines for me post board, so I'm gonna bring in all this shit. Flush Sir Barrington, love it. A tote bag? Maybe a little smaller, maybe a little smaller than a tote bag. Mono black aggro without any aggro. It might have been, right? That's kind of what I was thinking. Because they had that creature land in there. Yeah, have I really made it if, they, if I don't have a Funko Pop for me? I feel like there's a Funko Pop for fucking everything. You can make your own Funko Pops, really? Ooh. I saw Dragon Shields doing the um, the custom sleeves thing. I thought about like ordering some of those and doing them as like giveaways for the Patreon. Everyone of a certain tier gets entered into a raffle or just like gets a set of sleeves every month or something. I don't know. Are mono black aggro maybe? Thirty-five a pack? I thought they were twenty-five. Twenty-five. I mean, still pricey, obviously. 
I know they sponsored, like, Brad. Wonder if I could get in on that. Yo, I wanna plug your shit! Help! matches so far, Soto, and not feeling especially brave. If that answers your question. Will you run out gas and do the block sack thing? We also save it for a return. I like the block sack thing. Just putting lures to hand seems like it could be fine here in this turn too. We won last match by like not even casting return to the ranks, right? We just fucking killed them with zombie shit. Could be wrong. I should maybe just be going like Undead Augur Pass and then like try and fire off a turn next turn. But I kind of just like making land drops. It feels good to me. Just real fast. Hey, Gimper's eighty one, thinks the sob thinks the thirty six months. Three glorious years, yeah. Jump with the Shambling Ghast. That would have been better. Ah, oh, they're just dead. I only have one drain effect in the bin, right? Maybe I'll sack the supplier before I cast return then. Nice.
taking an obnoxious amount of life. So now I'm at 27. Oh shit, what up? Hey, Shana GG! Thanks for the sod, thanks for the 19 months there. You have to target, Asmati. You have to target with return to put it on the stack. So it doesn't matter if the trigger will resolve first. You need to... In order to put the return on the stack, you need to choose targets. Like the first thing you do. I'm just gonna cast some Crypt Breakers here. It's plenty, plenty of damage. Yeah, the other X spell that people played in decks like this just like brought them all back and uh, did not target. But Return does. Oh no, it wants me to change my avatar. You want the new Sarkin? If I have it, I don't know if I have it. You know about this thing? Oh shit, what up? You're making me spend fucking gold? <laughs> it's fucked up. Hey, Yoko did nothing wrong. Thanks for solving the 12 months there. Luris actually did something that game. It's kind of nice. Usually Luris doesn't do anything. That's why it was surprising to me. Ooh, are we facing that green-white deck? this deck be any good in Pioneer? I'm pretty sure I've played it in Pioneer. Pioneer or Modern or some such thing. playing in Pioneer with Rally. Yeah, that sounds right. I think the issue with it in Pioneer was that there, at the time that I was playing it, there's a lot of combo. And obviously the strength of the deck is like this sort of situation, right? Where the opponent like can't really attack. Oh, they killed my thing. Oh no, what will I do? I guess I'll draw two cards. Soda, why not? It's 
So I'm gonna play this one for sure. Let me do this and uh I guess I could play all of these if I wanted to. Yeah, fuck it. I'll just play all of them. Two returns milled. We can attack and get four damage in. It's kind of fucked up. We lose the Wayward Servant, though. I kind of want to keep the Wayward Servant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, that's probably too much shit, right? It's too much shit to be bringing in. Maybe this is fine. Something like that. A zombie apocalypse, yeah. Attacking, blocking, none of that stuff really matters. Just this slow treasury towards the inevitable win. You wanna play Call of the Death Dweller? I don't know if that card's good. Maybe it is. This is a much faster start for the opponent than, our, than, the, uh, than the last game, huh? Gonna do this, and then next turn, I think we go Undead Augur, Stitcher Supplier, start blocking. Hopefully set up for a nice turn four or something. Yep. I think I actually lead on the Stitcher Supplier. Because depending on what we mill... One Drain Effect. Okay, I'm gonna play the Augur. I wonder if playing the Augur is better than just activating the Crypt Breaker. Sure. The bell collector having trample is pretty real. What don't they shock themselves for? Hope it's not portable hole here. Oh shit, what up? I think they should just be pumping the trampler with the luminarch. Wow, I'm glad they did that before I activated Crypt Breaker. <laughs> hey, Benegade, thanks for the sub, thanks for 44 months. Hey, Purple, purple Elf Protections. Did you have a good stream? Did you have a good time?
let's see. So we can return for four, or we could fatal push something and return for three. I might need to fatal push something here. Does return for four kill them? I have two drain effects right now, and I'm getting a third back. I think that's Xaxes. I don't know. I'll find out. It is not Xaxes. <laughs> it is a smidge short of Xaxes, huh? Yeah, I needed to push the Pell Collector in there. And I think they just have ex I think they just have lethal now. Oh well. We don't gain a bunch because Corpse Knight doesn't drain. Corpse Knight only. Oh wait, they're not attacking with everybody? Why wouldn't they attack with everybody? Weird. Throw another blocker in front. Or just take three. Because they're not wild on math either. I have the damn rope going. I don't know. The rope always makes me just make a play. I hate it. They could have another that wild shape thing. I don't think it matters if I have like block with a shambling gassed though. the wild chain because this will become a 7-7 seven, seven, minus 3 is 4. Okay, yeah, I'll block. So I could rebuy Luris and play it, but I'd be a mana short of bringing something back for the win. So I think what I do is I just return it to hand and pass with Fatal Push-Up. Oh, just push a blocker and attack, because they only have two blockers. I guess that's better. <laughs> I guess winning is better than not. Yay. Rank up. We're facing many cookies. Chat regular many cookies. Playing Luris wouldn't have pinged for two. It would have pinged for one because of the Corpse Knight. Wayward Servant only pings for a zombie, and Luris is a cat nightmare, not a zombie.
Yeah, it looks like a junk food start. Right? There's gonna be so many drain triggers in this fucking match. <laughs> I just know that I'm gonna screw up the math. Because of cat nonsense. Maybe many cookies will just destroy all my shit here, and then I won't uh, I won't have to do math anyway. Oh yeah. <laughs> Use up the whole fucking notebook, recording the life total changes for this in paper. Plays. Oh, she went up. Hey, yeah, big pony pie. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for 28 months there. with a 20 month sub, sharing the prime, and then an anonymous gifter gave done the math a tier one sub. Hell yeah. I was looking for a one drop there, play off the treasure. Oh, they got their mayhem devil. murder some stuff. I'd feel better about this Mayhem Devil if I had a return in hand. Same the next one because they get a mayhem double ping here. Mm. 
Looking rough. Looking rough for our hero. Another Wayward Servant's not bad. Come on, return. Come on, come on, return, come on. There's gotta be one in here somewhere. <laughs> Might be a Lurus game. Not have the lark combo in here, no. Dust. The issue with turn returning Lurus here is uh, we'd have to sack two things, and so they would get to clear one of my two twos for free. This is game one. You can tell because there's no glowies on the little. Uh, If this was game two, one of us would have a game win, right? Yeah, that's what I always do, Starwin. Assume the game one was a draw. <laughs> Ask what the game count is every time I turn the chat. <laughs> hmm. Do we take lethal if we don't block this? Sacking Cauldron Familiars worth a ping, that's one damage. Then they sack the food to bring it back, that's two damage, is three. Then they sack it again, that's another damage. And they get another two from bringing it back, is seven already. Yeah, I, have to, I actually have to block his Mayhem Devil. Yeah, I think they can do nine damage. Because I can sack something to the tower and sack this food with mana. combo with nothing else in the yard, the game ends in a draw.
Yeah, I think this game's gonna come down to just, like, not drawing return ever. Kind of unfortunate. bring back. Yeah, I mean, if I stack this treasure, they get a free ping. I don't know how much that matters, though. Like, I think I'm just fucking dead. Was triple blocking consideration? No, yeah, because they can kill, they can kill all my shit anyway. So I just would have, like, gotten done tap with less things. Ovens. Yeah, I mean, two ovens is good, but like, again, if we had drawn return, we would have just had lethal a while ago. <laughs> and they just have a win here. I believe. I should have shrank the Mayhem Devil. That would have been better. Super dead. want a sideboard against them. I think I can cut a couple of Meyer Tritons and the Reburn. And I do like village rights in the matchup. I'll cut some number of them too. Leyland's good against Cat Oven, but I don't think it's worth bringing in in and of itself. Bring in like a couple portable holes and a couple fractures and a fatal push. We want two fatal pushes. They did not show us Trail of Crumbs, no. Portable Hole can also hit, like, the Goose, though. Doesn't seem terrible. This hand's a little light on gas. We don't have a turn, we don't have any, uh, drain zombies, we don't have a draw engine. I don't think it's a mull, but... But I'm not thrilled about it. It's like one of our weaker hands that we've kept today, I think. Oh, nice mill. Nice mill. Could set up a good return. Good 
God. I might just be like returning Lurus to hand on three here. <laughs> Draw with Crit Breaker. I think that's better than getting an extra two damage in. I'm looking for some specific shit here. playing the Meyer Triton or killing Trail of Crumbs or maybe even killing the Witch's Oven. Well, they can't pay for Trail of Crumbs right now. Does that make it more tempting to hit it? I feel like I'm supposed to hit the Witch's Oven. Leaving up Fatal Push here. I could have played the Goblet Shrine tapped, but I'm leaving up Fatal Push in case they like kill some of my stuff. Corvold's pretty fucked. that one we would draw we draw uh, the card we built our deck around we, we draw that at some point <laughs> the return card <sighs> mm, yeah maybe I should have bolted my spear shocked myself to have fatal push up here So far, we've gone through about about half of the deck. And there's still four returns in there. They're picking me? <laughs> That's so aggro. We have five cards in the graveyard to rebuy him. Maybe I serve all in first. No, all in's not as good.
Yeah, this is fine. I thought about like activating the Crypt Breaker too. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can I do this for nine? One, four, five, six, seven, just eight. Any damage. It's because I whined about not drawing a return to the ranks. Moto rewarded meme. I guess this isn't Moto, this is Arena. Well, I was rewarded. Hi, Dukin. It's really fun to play too, deck more. Yeah. Very rewarding to watch all the triggers go off. Village rights should be in. I didn't hate the disruption, the fracture, portal hole stuff. Trigger happy. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. onto my stream. Making puns? Making funnier puns than me? Uh, yeah, I suppose I keep this. I say I need some self-mill, huh? Some self-mill action. This is what we are missing. Just gas in general would be great. We have this return to the ranks. We have this piece that I was missing in previous games. We also need a stocked graveyard. Instead of a stocked graveyard, we have a lot of lands here. So one of those one drops that mills three and then another three on graveyard would be just our perfect draw. Let's fill it up. Yeah, no more lands, please, exactly. The turn three lures to hand? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. If they block there, I'm definitely sacking into tower to kill off the goose. 100%. Fun meanwhile, has infinite gas. Infinite gas going on. Come on, supplier. Come on, let's stitch it up. Turn Luris to hand or do a run out Dread Wanderer. I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure which is which is better. Luris isn't really doing anything here. I 
this trail of crumbs is gonna go through so much of the dank. They're bound to find a daredevil to murder all my shit, or may mayhem devil rather. Not looking great. These Dreadwonders in particular are looking pretty bad. Didn't I board Dreadwonder out? I usually board it out in like every single matchup. But I guess I didn't here. For whatever reason. Yeah, I have two different Vesper Lark lists. Buddha Attrition. Lots of people have tested it out. It's Dees. Better or worse than the packed combo? What packed combo? Blech. Champion of the Parish? Yeah, the card's sweet. Basically, I'm just giving myself like one turn to draw a Stitcher Supplier here, potentially pull something out of my ass. But if I don't draw it next turn, I don't know. I don't know if casting Return to the Ranks is even worth. Yeah, we buy th three things that I don't care about. Doesn't get in life either, just drain. Play Luris and rebuy one of them. I think they just have lethal next turn anyway, though, because each sack is a hit for two. Yeah, I literally needed like Stitcher Supplier into like some awesome mills. I think. Oh well. Yeah, the opposite problem. The opposite problem with the other two games. Tain Impact, the Oracle combo that got banned. Gotcha. Yeah. The issue with that deck is you can only play, like, two of each combo piece or whatnot. But I don't think Vesper Lark is going to get banned. Well, we picked up our first loss. So we're, like, 3-1 and one or 4-1 and one or something. I'm good to play another game or two with this deck. Usually I switch off after about a about a league, like five five ish matches. It's usually about a, as much as I got in me to play any deck before I start getting a little bored. Ooh, this hand's a little bit better than our last one. We don't have a drain zombie like our last hand hand, but we do have crit breaker, which is a draw engine. Pretty nice to have on the play here. Turn two, I might even just activate it. In one of these lands or something. Nope, playing that. How many sti more Stitcher suppliers would this archetype play? Well, if we had them? Um, I don't know. A lot. Hmm. Deciding if I need this tower right now.
Here's my tower, I want my tower back. Literally one thing to rebuy him. I always cast it anyway. Oh, can I even cast this? Convert a manual mana two or less. Oh no, yeah, 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 this is fine. So it's not the most impressive return to the ranks, I'm willing to admit, but it keeps them from draining with Clothis. And it gives me another Crit Breaker activation. I get to draw two cards here. Which I think is quite strong. I guess it doesn't deny them a Drain with Clothis, but it denies them exiling one of my creatures. Right now I'm a little short on creatures, so... Drawing two cards here seems amazing. Inquisitioning and Empty Hand. That resolves. I guess they're just putting a card in the graveyard for Clothis. Maybe I was supposed to respond by trying. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. So I like Portable Hole here. I think if they have a Graveyard Hate spell, it's probably going to be Grab Digger's Cage. I might board in like one Vanishing Burst, just in case they have Leyline. It's weird, we haven't seen like any Graveyard Hate at all today. They didn't really play much of the dies to Vanishing Verse that we saw, though, is the issue with bringing in Verse. Oops. I don't want that. I wanted all three rights and no Dread Wanders. Yeah. There's so many, there's so few matchups that I actually want the Dread Wanders in post board. Double portable hole seems like a bit much, but I guess I keep this. I guess portable hole hits stuff like Cruxa and stuff. They might have thought the Lyrus was in my hand. They like insta scooped though, so I don't know. I don't know if it mattered. Oh yeah, Twigasaurus. I do enjoy this format here. Oh yeah, it'd be weird for them to have Grab Digger's Cage, right? If I blink Crux them. Just like wouldn't work out at all. Not really sure which I'm supposed to play here, a Meyer Triton or a Portable Holm. If they hit another card from my hand, I'm gonna just discard a Triton. Things, my beautiful things. We gotta return to the ranks though, that's nice. I 
And we can get the double white for Return to the Ranks by sacking, sacking the Shambling Ghast and getting a treasure out of it. I don't know if we're at that stage of the game yet, though. Yeah, we only have a couple things in our graveyard. Let's go ahead and attack. And then I'm gonna play this Augur, and then I'm gonna sack the Shambling Ghast. Make a treasure. Draw my card from the Undead Augur. We're down Meyer Triton. Could actually return right here, but only for two. That doesn't seem worth. What's the graveyard sitch look like? We just added one, so it's just three. Oh no. Well, that was fucked up. Just play return for four here. Crit Breaker, Meyer Triton, another supplier. Now we got some drainers in the graveyard. There's also some card advantage in play, right? We have the Crypt Breaker as a draw engine, and this Undead Augur as a draw engine. Uh, yeah, that's fine. strengths of this deck is that it's like pretty good against a wall of removal as we're seeing here. Do I just fire off village rights and look for another return to the ranks? Well, there's only one left. There's only one return left. I think no then. I think I just attack for three, run on supplier and hold up village rights. In case they play another removal spell. And playing out the other supplier is almost worse than just putting Luris to hand, huh? Maybe I'll just put Luris to hand here. That seems pretty good. Yeah, there's literally one return left. Somewhere in those 28 cards. This taps me lower, but I think I'm gonna bring back the Corpse Knight.
Can we stack this plier so I can get both Corpse Knights down here? I think so, actually. Because we get to play both Corpse Knights, the second supplier, and then also hold up Village Rights. Seems pretty good. Portland's at four now. They bring two extinction events. This brew is indeed a Caleb D original. Not bad. Should I play one more match to get it into plat? Let's do that. Let's play literally one more match to get it into plat, and then when we can switch decks. I kind of want to try out that Jeskai deck a little bit, do a little bit of grinding with that. Blasting through. Yeah, we're like 4-1 or 5-1 on the night. I don't know. I don't know how many matches I've played. Winning a die roll. Love it. Ooh. A rear mulligan. The awkward thing about this hand is... Uh, we don't have white source for the Corpse Knight. I'm leading on the Crypt Breaker here with the idea that um, turn two Lazatep Re Reaver lets me tap the Crypt Breaker to draw a card immediately. That's one of the cool things about Lazatep Reaver. You don't really want to draw it in multiples because it doesn't do its thing. If you have multiples, right, it keeps on amassing out of the same army. But Having two zombies for the price of one works really well with Crypt Breaker, and it works really well with our Drain Knights, too, getting an additional drain effect. You could play you could play two. You could play two Reavers if you wanted to. I would like to draw a card in response. That's what I would like to do. Crypt Breaker's so good. Shambling Ghast is close to what I want. Two Shambling Ghast might, might do the trick. Might do the trick here. Blink a doink. Make a treasure, fire off Corpse Knight, and then play the Stitcher Supplier. It's possible I should have played the Gast instead of the Supplier. Celebrant deck, interesting. Now we just have two in the graveyard. Two's not quite enough. three if we sack Shambling Gas, but I don't think that's very good. So I'm gonna sack the Supplier and just like run out Dread Wanderer this turn. So I think they're playing the Vesper Lark combo. That's a little bit, that's kind of like all that I'm worried about right now. It's the only reason that I'm worried that I'm just treading water over here. Mm. 
One, two, three, four. One, five with the return to the ranks. That's a good point. If I leave up tower, then maybe I could stop the ghoul from um, the Vespillar combo from getting me. Valid. I mean, if they had the combo last turn, they could have just killed me. Possibly trying to set up a return and kill of their own. Each one of these reps two damage with the Cruel Celebrant. pretty hot. I think I want to drop one more card with a crit breaker here. Shambling gas, get in. Just like just attack with all those three. to hand, maybe run out Dread Wanderer past turn, I think is the the plan here. I think I'll leave the Frexian Tower up. Dread Wanderer, this turn's bad. Maybe 
Maybe my return was premature. Sure to give me some cards though. Hell yeah, germs. I actually have a humans list that I like a lot. I'll probably play some tonight. I might close off the stream with it. It's junk for uh, Coco and um, the general. But every land in the deck produces white, so you still have um, Banalish Marshall. playing Ranger. I was playing, uh, I really liked the Thalia's Lieutenant, though. And yeah, Asper Sentinel. This is just a win, right? They serve with bold creatures. They, like block Yogmoth. They get one damage in. They can just like sack the token to drain for two. And they'd have a win even if we had a one extra blocker. If we blocked both their things, they can sack the token to the Yogmoth. That would drain for two, and then they sack the Cruel Celebrant. And that drains for for just one, right? But that's all they needed. We were down to three. Oh, it says Cruel Celebrant. Yeah, so it'd be another tomb. Had a life to spare. We need a second copy of Return to the Ranks there. I was hoping to draw into it. Hey, Nagasaki. Thanks for the saw. Thanks for the 23 months there. Yeah, 23 glorious months. shit. Yeah, I think Ley Lines make sense. I don't know if they're actually, like, a graveyard deck, but I'm assuming they are. Like, they have, like, a really nice Vesper Lark shell going on over there, so I think they've got that combo. And then I think a lot of their drain effects don't actually work if there's a Ley Line in play. Because it's all, like, when a creature dies or whatever. Hey, many mini cookies takes the 58 months there am i sure this isn't still a cube stream yeah 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 always cube oh shit what up oh shit what up hey eating a pineapple thanks for the saw thanks for sharing that prime and Reptorius, 11.47, leads to the Southeast about 33 months there. And it's still borderline. Second land. The second land, I like this. So this hand actually doesn't advance our game plan very well, but it does have a ley line in it. 
So I guess I return Vanishing Verse. And just like pass the turn here. So I just push that straight up. I was like, fuck your Doom Traveler. <laughs> probably not. That's probably not a good use of that card. Chillin, I'm just hanging out. You think Tower's awkward? I mean, Tower is a lot less awkward if you have a Stitcher Supplier. Pretty important for being able to crack into that card. Oh, shit, what up? Hey, HK Schwa, thanks for the eight months. Oh, hey, a Stitcher Supplier. No creatures. That's a bummer. Just returning two creatures is terrible, right? Pretty bad. I do like getting back the Undead Augur, and maybe drawing some cards. Having like any board presence at all seems better than having no board presence, I suppose. I just can kill that blood artist. That's kind of nice. There's Leyline out. Tokens? Tokens still go to the graveyard. doesn't mind does. Well, they literally sacked a goat and got a drain trigger. So that's what we're discussing right now. We're getting blood artist off the board seemed worth. Oh, Leyline specific specifies cards, not creatures. Gotcha. Fair enough. Can we get some gas, please? Sort of.
being returns out of the graveyard. That'd be pretty sweet. I can't think of any way. Some zombie that recruits a fucking <laughs> return for us. Almost like attacking here. Is this attack bad? That seems kind of bad. How many returns do we have left? Two? That's not bad. We've gone through like half the day. That's about right. Six, seven, eight, nine. So we have plenty. Six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, no shambling, maybe. Triton triggers in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Do I use two towers there? I do. I do use two towers there. <laughs> so ley lines seemed amazing. It was like way better than um, a regular graveyard hate spell would have been there. Like a non ley line spell. Lurus would have also been good that game, to be fair, but not as good as the ley lines. Leyland's did a lot of work. I kinda want the portable holes in here. Maybe there's just not space. Maybe there's not space for space for them. They didn't show me anything I needed vanishing groups for. Triton, maybe? Or the third Undead Augur? Undead Augur is kind of awkward if people aren't straining you. Should Lurus come in? Nah, Lurus sucks. Are we against Vesper Lark combo? Uh, yeah. I think. I don't know. We actually haven't seen the Vesper Lark combo. It might not be the, a Vesper Lark combo deck. They have a lot of drain, though. They have a lot of drain going on. I'm actually going to mulligan this. The same would be okay. Like, we can answer one of the drain effects and we have a zombie, but like... It's not a zombie that self-mills for this return to the ranks. I would keep this hand if this Shambling Ghast was the mill three zombie. But if we mulligan, we get a free chance of finding Leyline, and that's kind of nice. And this hand isn't, like, that good. You know, it's like borderline mull anyway. 
Okay, so this hand has Supplier in Return of the Ring, so I think we keep it, even though we don't have Leyline. Better than going to five, I think. I don't actually know decks. That tower is nice. Little two zombies there. Schmitzels, thanks for running out 10 gifted subs. Oh shit, what up? Congratulations to Birdie, to Thwack, to Tano Ladang, to Tanny Bambino, CMDR Thalican, Muse of Castamir, Unknown Stober, a kitten named Puppy, oh, Alice Lovelin, and Gary the Snail 8. Congratulations to all you fine folks, and thank you, Schmitzels. Oh shit. Drop some corns, drop some love. Ship it up. Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? And then I'm just gonna pass the turn here. And now on their end of turn, I can sack Stitcher Supplier. Oh, shit, Get a nice mill three. This is kind of a bummer, because I think it implies that they've got the Vesper Lark combo. And I might just be dead here. Actually, it'd be hard to kill me from here, right? Because they still need a drain effect. Yaw coming to party. Supplier down. I'm really glad I made mana now. Load the treasure rather than killing the tithe taker. Four, five. One, two, three. Maybe just some Meyer Tritons. Let's bring back one Meyer Triton and one Shambling Ghast. Sacking first is awkward, because then I bring one fewer thing back, whereas this way I get to Convoke and use it for Phyrexian Tower mana. So I'd only be able to do it for four if I sack first. Mm, five seemed better. Card. 
I have not played against the Throws of Chaos deck, no. Yeah, I like this. More draws from the Augur here. We have a little bit of life to spend, so. They're sacrificing to, like, lower my drain, but it still costs them life with the Ogmoth. And then I get to draw more from the Augur. Be closer to another return, maybe. drawing a lot of cards as well every time they sack something to Yogg. Have I seen the Fatal Pushes yet? Fatal Push would be a sick draw here just to get the Yogg off the board. No, I haven't seen any of those. I have 26 cards left in my library. <laughs> Is that 26 cards with 3 returns left? Jeez. There's another return, but can it win is the question here. Is this both players? No, you control. Okay, so I can do Phyrexian Tower, number two, for plus two mana. I've got one mana floating. I think that's a win. I'm just gonna fire it off. So one, two, three, four, five. I can do this for five. I think this is lethal. I guess we'll let Arena do the math here. <laughs> Convoke plus sack is not coded wrong. We did it! Platinum! 